Hey y'all, hope that you're all right uh, and doing fantastic. Um, <laughs> sorry about the way I look. I've had a shower and I had to make up and I'm pretty transparent on this channel. So if you are brand new to this channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm not superficial at all. Uh, I get on here uh, dressed to the nines and I get on here just like this. I just don't care. I'm just me. But listen, I, you know, I, I'm really struggling actually getting on here to talk about what I'm fixing to talk about because I did a really long video today. Um, and, um, those of you who watched that video about, um, what is really the hurt behind, or what is the real reason behind the hurt or something like that, it was really a, a, a very intense reading for me to do. That takes a lot out of me, uh, to bring forth truth like that from the cards, but, um, the, the creator was speaking a, a very divine word through that message today because there had been a lot of deception that had went around a, a, a party of people, a, a community and people who were known and all that kind of stuff in the earth realm. And uh, one party, it showed that they were completely clear in the situation, but they had gotten drugged through a, a bunch of stuff and had went through all kinds of like who, what, when, where, mystery type of stuff. But at the same time, they were coming up as an empress who was like, take it or leave it. I know who my divine person is, but if, you know, the empress doesn't have to be, uh, she doesn't have to stand up and fight for anything because she knows who she is in, inside the self itself. Uh, and you and I do know when we are in our highest vibration that you can take it or leave it I'm fine with who I am and myself but that reading did show that both parties whatever had happened in the past happened in the past and two parties found one another within that process right or wrong or indifferent I don't care what it was it hap what happened is what happened go back and watch that whole it was like three three parts to that whole video so we have time maybe this weekend you know if you've gone through something like that um, and uh, got caught up in some kind of lion deception kind of energy because of a third party situation you got drugged through something you didn't know what was happening because they thought you knew what was happening but actually you were innocent you didn't know what happens what happened through the whole process of it but through that process the divine stepped in and you found your divine partner it's a very touchy situation um <laughs> And I'm having a problem getting on here sharing what I want to, you know, because I asked the divine, please don't let me get on there and have to say this. But i am also got on this channel, I have talked about how I am somebody who is led by the Spirit. And when the Spirit has His hand on you to be some kind of a voice or conduit in the earth realm, and, and those of you who understand what I'm talking about, you know that you can't escape that. And those of you who are not called in that, maybe it's hard for you sometimes to receive a word because that's not your calling. You're calling to somewhere else and you're divine and what you the divine has called you in to be a conduit in those certain situations. I'm sorry, I'm tired. But hopefully you are following me and uh, this is really hard for me to get out because I don't want to share it for one thing. Uh, but this is my point, is that when the divine, and you're in this kind of a call, and he tells you to say something, it's like daddy of the universe. It's like, if you don't do it, then I, I understand about how karmic stuff does, uh, works and how, how, how it comes in this realm and, and what we have to do and what we will pay for if we don't do it because you have that call and that hand upon you. When daddy says to do something or mama says to do something, the masculine, feminine of the of the universe, the, the, the sweet divine has his hand on you, you have to do it. Whether we like it or not, and whether we understand it or not, it will play out the way it's supposed to. So, and I'm getting really tongue-tied because it's really hard for me to say this, what I have to say. <sighs> But for the party that is showing up with their emperor and empress energy that would sit there and say, either way, I could take it or leave it, they still know within themselves there's a divine calling with that person that they found, and so does that person know that. There was another party that got mixed up in whether they believed a lie from another party, and then they were defending whatever they were defending in that situation or they were the one that caused the lie and it blew up in the face I don't care how it happened two people found themselves and found their divine partner now I had stated on that video that you know because of the because there were two empress energies but one in one empress was an empress in a high vibration at one time but they came down to a night because what came out on that energy 
a message, the verbal message that came out on that empress was that there was addictions and stuff that had been attached to that, and it brought them down to a night. And I'd stated on there that if they would get up in their high vibration, anything's possible. Uh, but if the person that finally had made a decision that they were moving forward and moving on and ignoring that night energy come to them, that they, they can't, you can't make anybody love you at that point. Let me sit down here. And sorry for the lighting in here. Um, hopefully that's not too, that doesn't bother anybody. As long as you're hearing what the message is. And you're in a high vibration. If you're in a high vibration, you're mature. And you're able to accept what is being said. Because it is from the divine. And I know that because I don't want to share it. <laughs> and a lot of times when the divine says to share something you don't want to. Then it's like a direct word. And it, 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 you can't deny that it's coming from the divine for my testing also but that person even if you get up in your high vibration the fact of the matter is is that person found their divine partner which still would not I don't even want to say this which still would not be you that you have a divine person out there that you haven't discovered yet Now you understand why I don't want to share this. I asked the divine, please don't make me get on there. And I literally went to my deck of cards because that's how the creator speaks to me. Not to pry or to poke in the situation, but because I was hearing into my spirit. And so I had, I had to have confirmation. And I literally, literally, see, I can't even talk because it's hard for me because I know that that person that I read for today in, in the collective who went through that stuff is in a lot of anguish in the mind because they don't know what to do. Because something got taken away from them because of a freaking lie. Whether they caused the lie or somebody lied to them. In the process, something got karmically messed up. And somebody, over and over, it was talking about how they did never learn the lesson. That both parties got left out in the cold. And they kept going around, 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 around the mountain. And never, neither one of them could ever get to the place where they could learn the lesson because something was off in the situation. Whether it was by family, whether it was by their own lie, it blew up in their face if it was. And it, it proved that on the reading. But one party was completely clear, but they found their emperor in the process of all that mess. At the same time, they had to go through shit because they were drugged through because of a lie of somebody else or that person or whatever. Even if it, however that played out for whoever that was for and whoever it resonated with and you will know that if it was resonating with you or not at the same time if you do come up to your high vibration you must understand that the divine is saying that those two people because it showed that those two people could have went through a divorce or something like that so it was over one person just wouldn't even hear the other party at that time uh, at that point because of addiction and stuff like that. Now, can the creator still have grace on that? Well, absolutely. If 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 their divine person that they did find through all that mess decide to move on, because a divine emperor or empress will not ever pull or prod and push on anyone in love. They're secure in themselves. And unless you're secure in yourself, then you will be that knight of swords that will keep being a fast talker, fast talker. Fight. You love me, you love me, you love me, you love me. And if you don't love me, I'm going to make it hard on you and everybody else. That's not love then. You have growing up to do on the inside. And I don't even want to share this because I, I told the divine, please don't let me. Because the whole three uh, part message, I felt like I already addressed all that stuff. But, but yet I guess I didn't because I, I made it wide open on there uh, through the moment and it is still the truth what I said on there that all things are possible at the same time the creator has revealed to me that yes it's possible but at the same time my highest vibration for both those people that found themselves through the process of somebody making a lie and it blowing up he still loves that person at the same time he revealed something within that process and those two people uh, won't pull on each other because true love will let it go it, it plainly showed there that both people knew who they were in this earth realm. It plainly showed it. So even if the other party gets up in that higher vibration, 
that person still in their heart knows that the heavenly divine gave a cup through that other empress energy which literally tells me that if you get up in your high vibration you are on that side that caused any kind of lies or believed a lie or was in the middle of that lie that happened and it blew up in the face for whatever reason why it existed that you too have an emperor somewhere out there waiting for you that you are tailor made for And it wouldn't be that person that you were trying to fight for and, and hold on to and cause or was a part of the cause or got mixed up in a cause that something happened. Because it, once you understand in your highest vibration that every single thing that happens to you and I is for a reason and a purpose and for a season, then you will release a thing. And once you release it, the Creator will bring you your one cup. Because then you are so totally secure within yourself, you can take it or leave it. Like the Empress in the third row of that reading. Take it or leave it. Yeah, I love you. And yeah, I know it's from the divine. But at the same time, I'm not going to push on you. I don't have to because I don't have to prove myself. Either you're going to come to me and you're going to do what the Creator wants. Or you will go back to whatever and I'll bless you even there. And that's what a true Empress will do. And as hard as that is for me to share that it is the truth because... It just is the truth. And I just need to share that. And that's not to tear anybody down. I'm never here to tear anybody down. But I'm also here to put a, a truth out by the divine and be a conduit. Because the conduit of the truth working through you and I is the most important thing. That everybody gets in their place. I, right now in my mind, in the spirit, I, I'm, and I'm still searching for words because I know this is touchy. Because I know what I've had to go through. What I'm seeing in my mind is a big old puzzle. And all these pieces are everywhere. And the Spirit is showing me right here, right now, that every piece has its place before that picture of that puzzle can be put together. And some pieces can appear to fit inside other pieces. But it's not a perfect match. The picture behind each piece might even look similar, but it's not the perfect match. And once you realize that, once you get up in that high vibration, once the Creator's done with putting the pieces of the puzzle together, every piece is going to be together, whether people like it or not, in the end, because the Creator's going to have His way, not me, not you. The Creator is putting in that masterpiece together. All we're here to do is to learn the lessons. So if you're finding yourself in envy and strife, and I gotta have this, and I'm in greed, and I want it, and, I, and if you, I can't have it, I'm gonna make sure you don't either, and I'm gonna take everybody down with me. Then the Creator uh, eventually is gonna com completely move you out of the way for eternity, and that's dangerous. And some people don't get that; they're just in the now moment of selfishness. But this is my job and this is other people's job in the earth realm who understand where I'm coming from to raise the vibration to a place where you just rest in the divine. You know your place. You know what puzzle piece you are. And if other people have to get in the way, then you just step back and let them go ahead. Go on now. you got to be that way. And I will bless you in the process because I know that my trust is in the Creator. He's already shown me who I am, where I belong, and in His timing. I will accept when he puts that piece together for me. But two people in that long reading did find themselves within that lie that somebody created. And it's really, above all that, it is a divine leading the whole thing. If you can accept that. It really ended up being the divine in the end because a whole line of that reading, that person was clean and clear. They just got drugged through a lie. And until you can literally grow up and get into that high vibration. So you were either the person in that reading that was a knight trying to convince the person who wasn't listening that you are an empress. I'm an empress. I'm an empress. And the person ain't listening because you really aren't. Or at one time you were. And you came down because of addiction to a night. And now it's just too late. 
because in the process of all that anyway, two people actually found who their divine partner was. And as hard as that is, if that causes you to grow up to a place of an empress, then it was worth it in the long run for you and everybody else. Whether the lie came from you or not, in the long run, the divine has a divine plan for a reason and a purpose why you and I pass certain uh, paths of people for a time and a season so that we can find ourselves. We can't push and pull on anyone. If you're doing that, you're not in a high vibration at all. You're not even in kingship if you're that way. Because kingship comes with control and not being controlling. Although we do have people in high authority that will be controlling. But karma is real and it will be dished out every time. So anyway, I didn't want to give this word and I don't want to be a bummer, but it's actually very positive. And it is the truth that if you will take these words and go within it and connect with the divine, you will find peace within it. Because you do yourself have a true emperor or an empress out there waiting for you. However they come across your path, when you see them, you will know it. And there's nothing in that no one can do to separate that. Because it's a divine union that comes from heaven. That cup literally came from heaven. And the ring that came out in that uh, reading was right there in everybody's face. It was from the divine. And people want to get in this low vibration and fight against the divine? Well, the divine's going to win. Hands down. At the same time, people who are in their emperor, empress mode would rather find peace in the earth than to fight with the low vibration and are operating from that higher space of love to release the thing and trust the divine that in his timing he'll bring it back around again and it'll be better than it even was the first time because somebody had to have their way. So it's just something to, for you and I to think about. Okay, but I I just needed, I needed to obey the spirit. I hope you all have a fantastic day. And uh, until in the morning, I'll do the morning read. Um, shalom. Rest well.